I've had a request from Portal Two Can Touch. This saying, "Could I draw a crow, please?" Well, yes, I can. I'll show you how to paint it as well. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Ah, ah! <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Today I'm drawing with a Domain Graphic 6B pencil and a Rotary Tiki Graphic 0.3 pen, and I'm using a Domain Art Eraser to draw a crow. Draw a circle. From the centre line, you want a line coming out. And then coming out at about 10 o'clock, you want the eye to be about there. Now the length of the beak is kind of just a bit short of the width of the circle of the head. And then from about the top of the eye, you want to draw kind of a curve coming down like that. And then the beak starts about here below the line it goes above the line and kind of curves down there so you want to smooth that beak out like that and then this comes down a little bit and comes pretty much straight across we've got a kind of bit of featheriness on the beak a bit like that now you want to smooth this line out there and i'm going to make the eye around about there you want to have a little bit of curving underneath there as well. And this will come down into the throat and then into the body and the rump. You've got this little kind of shoulder there as well. And I like to think of the, the wings. You've got this kind of little bed jacket, which is kind of the top layer. And then that will come into the kind of second layer. I'm not sure all these co coverts and pinions and things. I think these ones here at the end of the pinions, they will go like that. And then you want the tail kind of, we'll have the tail coming down a bit more, I think, balancing on her. Now what you have got going on in here is you've kind of got the hips here, and then you've got a little, that's the hip, and then you've got the knee, and then you've got the, the tibia <laughs> I'm not sure anyway this is the ankle which is why it bends the wrong way you think it might be the knee but it's not and then we have the feet sort of coming out like that and similar on the other side and we'll have him oh we're going to need to come out again a bit I have him sitting on a fence post or something like that I'm going to zoom in for the head again now I'm going to give this a bit of character and I'm going to make him look slightly angry, so we don't want it to be a complete circle. And this is this is where I start putting myself into it. So this isn't really a drawing of a crow. This is a slightly cartoonized version of it. And then we've got this kind of featheriness on the beak there. And then you want to really get this beak nice and smooth like that and it goes up and down it's just kind of slightly like kind of like that i want to get a nice smooth line up there and i'm going to move around i don't usually do all this moving around but i think i'm going to do that <laughs> and here now again i'm going to slightly Move it. Out. It might have a few little feathers showing there. The the feathers are on the top at the back here, and so I'm trying to get a, a swing around like that. There we are, and they kind of show from underneath like that. And we got a few bits of kind of downiness there. So I'm going to bring this feather in there and then we're going to get these little kind of hints of feather up here and then we get a, a smaller set of feathers in the mid cover so I don't know <laughs> I don't know the names of all the feathers I suppose I should do I should learn them and then these will be the pinions which are the kind of the fingers that spread out at the end of the, the wing. And 
I know on my videos I've always tended to just do it straight like that but I think I'm going to change now because I'm changing kind of the nature of this channel a bit. They're slightly sinister aren't they crows? Are they? Is that, are they actually sinister or is that something that we've kind of put on to them? It's kind of little knickerbockers I'm going to put in here. These might be a little bit feathery. There. And then you can make these legs quite crinkly, the lines. And then that will want to go like that. And then starting just a little bit below there, you can put that claw in there. And they're really not the most beautiful things, I don't <laughs> Bird's feet, they're slightly creepy, actually. Um, and then you might want to see that. And I want this kind of scaly pattern on there. And then you're going to see a bit of the other one here as well. Which will do a similar kind of thing there. Split down there. And you'll see a little bit at the back there too. There, I can zoom out a little bit now. Now I'm sure that it's dry, I can uh, erase the pencil lines. And I'm just going to put in a kind of suggestions of feathers. So these are kind of done with little kind of feathery um, lines. Now I'm going to paint this, but I just can't resist kind of adding texture to it with um, cross hatching. Well, I'm not going to cross it, just a little bit of hatching really, like that. And I'm going to put a bit in, I'll turn it upside down a bit. I'm going to put a bit of kind of extra shade in here. And again, just in underneath there. Just to kind of lift the feathers. And then we're going to need a bit of shade here too. And now I am cross hatching because I'm crossing over the hatching I did before. And then I think also we need some extra darkness. So that's the end of the drawing and now I'm going to stretch this up and I'm going to paint it. Well that took a lot longer than I thought it would so I'm doing the how to paint it as a separate video so click on the link to follow that or try the mystery drawing. Make sure you're subscribed and in the meantime keep drawing drawing drawing. Practice 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Oh, oh.